Let's get him over here. Someone needs to go get Canaan. Does anyone know Canaan lives? Jesse, grab that blue bag over there. Bring it over here. I'll call him. Bring me that bag. I'll call Canaan. The bag, Jesse. Jesus, Jesse, we don't have time for that. Bring me that bag. No, 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 no come on. Lily, put pressure here. Press there and you don't let him. make it? You think he'll make it? We need to put something under his head. He's dead, Lily. Lily. He's dead. Gail's dead. Now you can call Canaan. What was his name? I mean, I mean the deceased officer. What's his name? Gail Greenberg. Were you close? No, but... No. We... we went to school together. Sheriff Reed, I... Sheriff Reed. Ha! Huh. Sheriff Reed. If my dad could hear you say that, he'd died of laughter. He'd laugh like a madman, choke on his favorite meatballs even. Sheriff Reed. Call me Lily. My aunt lived in Freeburg. She, she sold flowers. Had her own store, a little shop. My mother and I used to visit during the summer. You have warm summers there. Warmer than here. <laughs> Anywhere's warmer than here. So, what happened in Freeburg, Mr. Boyd? It's... that's a very... Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. F forgive me, Lily. I, I begged you for a chance to tell you everything, and now I don't know where to start. You were slandered? You could say that. So you aren't guilty of anything? I, uh... I'm plenty guilty, but... but not what I've been accused of. I was just a fool. A blind fool. You're right, Mr. Boyd. Uh, I'm sorry? The sheriff's job is to think rationally. I figured I might be a shit cop, but at least I can think rationally. Now I'm... now I'm... not so sure. Lily, listen to me. You aren't guilty of anything. I've been a police chief going on 13 years, and I can't say that I never... I, uh... Let's just say it's a difficult job. It gets complicated. And to put you in this position, it was, uh... I just want to say don't that... Don't be shy, Mr. Boyd. I don't make much of a sheriff. Is that what you wanted to say? Because I completely agree with you. Lily, listen to me. I'm a policeman. Whatever position I'm in now, whatever this is, whatever my official status, I'm still a policeman. I'm a policeman and I know how to do this job. And I will help you. Cops should help each other. Isn't that what we were talking about earlier? Don't you agree with me? What was it you said, Mr. Boyd? Maybe you're an imposter, maybe you're crazy, but... but maybe... maybe you... I... honestly, I don't even know if I... Really? Why are you pointing that gun at me? Can I get out of this cage? Lily? Yes, Mr. Boyd. Yes, you can get out of the cage.
you, uh, you want me to... Well, I, I guess I'm asking. You want me to get to work? What is it you want me to do exactly? You can get some sleep in the break room. It's over there to the left, the dark green door. I'll still be here in the morning, and in the morning we... In the morning we... Well, we'll figure this out. Tomorrow you can gather up your things, Mr. Boyd. Yes, I just, uh, uh, this letter, I, I'd i like to send it as soon as possible. This, uh, it's for my children. It's important. I can mail it for you. I, I don't mind. I, I've got a letter to mail myself. Lily, uh, I wanted what? to... What? You want to know if I'm going to call the feds? No, I won't call the feds. Do I realize that means I'm breaking the law? Yeah, I know. Do I understand that you could make a run for it at any time? Yeah, I know that too. I'll see you in the morning. Any other questions? So how long you been working undercover? Since February. So you're like, you're like our new sheriff now, huh? Mr. Nash will partly take over management of the department. Some of you will now be his subordinates. Bad news, Cliff. I'm still the sheriff. Well, if you understand everything and there's no more questions, then let's... Uh, oh, oh, wait, I have a question. Now, uh, when are we going to take that thing down? I meant questions for Mr. Nash. Oh, then I have a question for Mr. Nash. Mr. Nash, when are we going to take that thing down? When are we taking that thing down? We're not taking it down. Sorry, bud. Looks like it's staying up. That's enough. Everybody back to work. It was Sheriff Wells who hung that tapestry here. He said that... He said he made me his first deputy because I was the only one who understood what it says. Well, now there's two of us. Five sixteen in progress.
516 complete. Five fifty one in progress. Five fifty one complete. Five seventy three in progress. Five seventy three complete. I, uh, did I miss something? No, no, I just want to move into the office where you were working yesterday. So you, uh, you're moving into a smaller office? I'm moving where I'm more comfortable. That's the office I used to share with Gail. It's, yeah, it's probably too big for me, but it'll be just right for you. Um, uh, can I help? No, no, I, I don't like people pawing my stuff. You could get a bite to eat. I'll be finished in, like, 20 minutes. I can handle this. At least I can handle this. Okay, then I, uh, I'll go down to the dining hall then. Call me if you need me. Ah, Mr. Nash. Glad we have a chance to get acquainted again. This time under better circumstances, huh? Our first meeting didn't go so smooth. <laughs> you really must forgive me, Mr. Nash, for being so rude to you. It was rude of me to arrest you. 
you gotta admit, you don't really look like an undercover cop. Am I right, guys? <laughs> but I didn't hit you too hard. I tried to be... I tried to be delicate with elderly gentlemen. I'm not some kind of monster. <laughs> I didn't mean to offend anyone. You really shouldn't be offended. We're all grown-ups here. Why be offended? Why are you offended, Mr. Nash? I gotta say, I expect more from a senior police officer. Well, I don't know. More... more professionalism, you know? You seem like the kind of guy who sits behind a desk doing paperwork. Am I right, Mr. Nash? That the bathroom? Weren't you gonna drink your coffee, Mr. Nash? You're not incontinent, are you? Mr. Nash, do you have a problem? Is it an age thing, or... Did I just hit you too hard in the kidneys? If that's the problem, then I apologize, Mr. Nash. I tried. I tried not to hit any vital organs. Five twenty in progress. Twenty complete. Five thirty-eight in progress.
I. Five forty-seven in progress. <laughs> 